Hello Johnny, welcome to Super Saturday Vlogs week 105 and the big, big talking point is the Euros. If you don't like football you can skip ahead to another part of the video that will probably be more sport, so uh, sorry about that, but for people who like the Euros, like me and Johnny, will have been excited to sit down, eyes glued to the telly for 90 minutes, plus about 5 years of them waffling on at half time, and before the game actually, uh, by the England game against Wales and Johnny you supported Wales you were rooting for Wales in this game I was of course rooting for England as you can see by the flags that I have around my window here uh, so that's one of the main talking points the scenes, mate. The scenes. Anyone who's interested in football and the Euros, especially the England Wales game today, which started at two, and I like missed like the uh, first 10-15 minutes of it. But I was like, Wales scored to make it one nil. Uh, I was like, oh really? Sterling, Sterling. Anyone who says Sterling was good or has been good for England is off their trolley, mate. And then Vardy scored after half time. I was like, come on, yes. And then Wales, it looked like Wales were going to top the group. And their, their fans were singing, they're going home, they're going home, they're going, England's going home. All their fans thought that we were going to go home. We were out, but, you know. However, it was not to be. 91st minute, well, 92nd minute, Sturridge scores. And we won 2-1 against Wales. So happy. Wales played um, really well. Defensively, they were much better than us because we looked nervy at the back. Bale's goal should never have gone in, but Joe Hart was a bit of a pleb on that occasion and he let it in. And he was standing too far on one side of the goal and he left too much space on the other side of the goal. Great bit of analysis there. But we won 2 1. Come on, England! Now we're going to win the Euros. Not getting ahead of myself at all. And another talking point is basically. As you may or may not know, in 2015, the Rugby World Cup was happening, and England didn't make it past the group stage. However, we are currently unbeaten in 2016 in rugby, and last week we beat Australia, who are the second best team in the world when it comes to rugby, just behind New Zealand. And I thought we were going to in for a tough time, but we won 39-28 last week. This week... I thought Australia might pull it back, but defensively and on the attack, England, well, we were amazing, and we won 23-7. To Jamie George, the replacement hooker, who kicks the ball, charges through, Owen Faddle's going for it, over the line, Owen Faddle oh. goes down and scores the try that unquestionably gives England their first ever series triumph in Australia in history, and that was brilliant defence for three solid minutes followed by blistering attack and England have wrapped up the Cook Cup and they've wrapped up this series. So I think in the rankings now in rugby England could be fourth or third which will be a massive turnaround from the World Cup last year. <sighs> Moving on uh, one more well a random topic actually is basically the situation is that I haven't washed my dad's car in quite a while and you know what I thought that since I'm not really doing much today and I don't th know whether the meet up today with the usual lot went ahead so I decided to clean the car today so here's some random footage of me cleaning the car and earning a few bob and can I just point out that hopefully sometime this year it probably won't be too soon but hopefully sometime this year I'll get a provisional driving license do some driving lessons, end up getting a car or something like that, that's my ambition, and then I can clean my own car. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And I'll probably take pride in the first car, as I'm sure many people have done or will do.
and now the last thing, uh, last topic of conversation before I sign off for this vlog. Johnny, you wanted to know when I finished, when I broke up for the summer holidays, because of course you have now finished um, college and broken up for the summer holidays, which means you can do lo uh, loads of things, such as more driving lessons. I finish in five weeks, starting from Monday which means I finish on the 22nd of July. It seems like quite a long way away. I've got two English exams, one on the 27th, one on the 29th of June. Before that, I've got to get a new ID badge because my second ID badge is ruined. However, there are some consolations. On the 22nd of June, next Wednesday, we get a day off. Then it's the EU referendum. And then I don't know about you, Johnny, but I... Because I don't have much time, I can't really explain, but my thought is we're actually having a vote at school next Monday and I instead of drawing a massive gentleman's sausage on the paper the ballot paper I um, will probably say we should leave the EU or the EU let me know what your thoughts are Johnny regarding the EU referendum and everyone else let me know in the comments below should we stay or should we go now? Should we stay or should we go now? Should we stay or should we go now? If we go we are with Farage And if we stay we are with Cameron So, uh, it'll probably be a close call But let's see what the outcome is on the 23rd of June And that's it for the vlog today Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon.